What's up everybody, it's Bill T. I'm over here at George's shop at the wagon and we're working on the chop top today. So originally I had purchased a supercharger kit for compressor house in the UK and the plan was to put that on my limo bus. After a lot of thinking and going over things and after the power tour, I thought, where could I put that supercharger and really enjoy it more than putting in the limo bus, which I drive more for fun than recreation. So I decided it's gonna go on the Berg 1800. Why, you might ask. The reason I'm putting it on the Berg 1800 is because this motor's at seven and a half to one compression, so it makes it perfect for a supercharger. Uh, it's an 1800cc machine in uh, 88s with a 74 crank, I think. And it's perfectly set up to put this supercharger on there. Now, a couple of the drawbacks, I'm gonna have to run deck lid standoffs, which I personally don't really mind. Um, it's not gonna be as pretty as this motor is in here. Well. It's not gonna be as balanced as the motor is not gonna be in here, but uh, you know, you can't, you can't have it all, so. But my real reason for doing this is I wanna get this thing to really uh, have a lot more pep. So I did a couple of zero to 60 pulls before we swapped this out, so I'll give you all that information at the end of the video, but let's take a look at what we have here for part. Okay guys, so there's the bug. Here's the motor we have set up now. So this is a pretty complete Berg setup, but it, uh, I mean, we're gonna see. I'm gonna see what the difference is with top end. I'm gonna see what the difference is um, in performance. I'm looking forward to, they say it's about a 40 horsepower increase. So we'll see zero to 60 time what I've got because that's the uh, seat of the pants dyno that I took. So we're gonna get rid of both carbs. We're gonna get rid of the crossbar linkage. It's got a single manifold and a single side draft that goes over the alternator. So uh, deck lid for sure is gonna have to come off or get standoffs. So here's the kit. <clears throat> the company that I bought it from was compressor house and that's what I paid for it can you see that 2,070 pounds so probably like 2,200 bucks total uh, shipped to my door and it comes with a new intake manifold it comes with the bracket that mounts off of the um, fuel pump block off this comes with a rebuilt AMR 500 supercharger uh, their custom manifold to mount it the serpentine belt setup. Uh, which I'm, I, I had one on that, on that car originally, which I took off and sold. And then some of the other, this is the mount for the supercharger that's gonna be offset. Fuel pump, fuel lines, hose clamps, bolts, gaskets, uh, throttle cable linkage. This is uh, an additional belt for what you're gonna be running. So this is a complete turnkey kit. So, um, that's what I'm looking forward to getting this thing set up on here and taking a look at how it's all going to go together. So George and I are going to jump on it and you can go check out George's channel because he's doing a more detailed video of what it's going to take or, you know, the way George does videos, not quick and dirty like me. So this is the deal. This is the carb that's going on there. It's going to be a uh, DCOE uh, Weber 40 DCOE. So uh, it's a new carburetor. I mean, I think for 2000 bucks, I think it's a really good buy. Um, I don't think, uh, you know, I'm gonna, see, I'm gonna see how it goes and I'm looking forward to the power increase and eventually I'm gonna be changing to a, uh, a five-speed transaxle in the car. So this, I wanna get on here, kind of get it dialed in and then really see the difference for freeway driving. So I'm excited to see how much the supercharger makes a difference, especially zero to 60. So. We'll be uh, working on that today. They say the installation time is approximately three hours, so we're gonna let you know. I'm sure with me in the way here at Georgia shop, it's gonna really cause some issues with George, but you know, I'm always, I'm always slowing things down. So anyway, get back to it.
as you can see in the video, we swapped out the system. It took probably about uh, about three and a half hours for us to do it. George helped me and we kind of went back and forth. One of the things we had to do was clock the alternator uh, about um, to the eight o'clock position. So that way uh, the, the power lead was out of the way. And other than that, not a lot of other major modifications. The kit was really complete, came with everything that you needed. Uh, and I'll put some performance specs up of what the difference was before and after. Uh, I didn't get any driving video before or after. Um, I was getting pretty excited to put the kit on and I thought I'd make a video at the last minute. So here's the stats. So there you have it, quick little ride in the rag top. Uh, she's a beast now, man. She cooks like bacon, and I tell you, she's super quick, man. Uh, it's made the experience of driving it. It was a long, lethargic pull to get to the gears. Now it just rips through the gears like a street bike. So uh, I'm pretty pretty excited with it. Uh, I definitely will probably do this on another vehicle. After a couple of my friends drove this, my brother testified of them. I mean, people, there's a couple of people picking them up here in town. So. Uh, if you guys are looking to get a little additional horsepower and you don't want to build a big motor, get a 1776, 1914 or smaller, get this supercharger set up, man. It's totally, uh, my opinion, totally worth 2200 bucks, man. Totally would change the game as long as your motor's got the right compression set up for it, as long as it's probably eight to one or lower. Anyway, guys, um, I'm happy. I'm stoked. Uh, Rodney's a little cleaning. You see Project Gee in the back right there. So. Anyway, guys, until next week, later.